Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And I just want to, um, you know, speak about this uh, fire that's happened um, at this uh, National Museum in Rio. It says, um, it's a cultural tragedy. Flames engulfed the National Museum in Rio de Janeiro as dozens of firefighters battled to save priceless relics from the 200 year old building. You know, and um, they say there's got to be like 20 million historical items in there. Hey, well, you know what? This is just the omen for what is to come. All right, because the Lord's going to make a clean sweep of this earth. All right, and the only the only thing that's going into the next realm from this realm is the Bible. All right, the kingdom of heaven is going to be built from scratch. It's going to be built from the ground up. This this age and the things of this world are going to be dissolved. We don't need them, just like going back to the days of Noah. All right, that world was completely wiped out, wiped off the face of the map. All right, relics, everything. And you, you find a lot of this stuff in these museums ain't nothing but a bunch of idols anyway. All right. So, hey, this the, the, these relics are just uh, things of this world, but this world is going to vanish away. All right. Hey. I just want to get 2 Peter 3 and 9. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, because hey, the Lord promised to make a full end of this world and um, to usher in the kingdom of heaven, which is um, the rulership of um, Israel in righteousness. All right, the purification of the earth, the, the reign of righteousness on the earth, right, and the end of wickedness and corruption, right, beginning with the elect. It says, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish. And that any that the Lord is not willing to perish is the elect, okay? That means that everyone which is of the elect of, of the elect shall be delivered. As it is written, the, the, the heavenly father have placed the elect into the hand of Yahweh Shai, and no man can pluck them out. You know, it is also written that if it were possible, they would de de deceive the very elect, but it's not possible. But that all should come to repentance. So the all that's going to come to repentance is talking about the elect. It ain't talking about all Israel, and it ain't talk. It definitely ain't talking about the other nations because they're not part of this. It says, "But the day of the Lord, which represents the end of this world, will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat." The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right, so that's going into the complete destruction of America. But not just that, the the, the chariots of the Heavenly Father are going to desolate and destroy these other civilizations and nations and their monuments and, you know, the pyramids of Giza and all that shit. That's all going to be destroyed. All right, all the works of men from this side of the world are going to be brought down to the ground. All right. But America has got a special judgment because the land itself is going to be completely destroyed and turned into a desert. But the Lord is going to destroy all these relics and artifacts and buildings and, and, and cars and, and all their books. The Lord's going to destroy all of that, man. The kingdom of heaven isn't going to be built upon uh, this world that we're in right now. It's going to be raised up out of the ashes of this world. You understand? All right. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of preference or persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So the kingdom of heaven, man, hey, this is this is an omen, all right? Because this the, the things of this world, man, all right, are going to be brought down. They're going to be dissolved. And the new world is going to be raised up, all right, from, 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 um, from the ashes, 
All right, so this is just the beginning. All these museums and these relics ultimately are going to be destroyed. And the things of this world. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.